Hello and welcome back my stylish friends. Let's grab some green, orange and white yarn and let's make shamrock uh, granny square stitch. And we can make four clover leaf or just regular shamrock with three leaves. We can design this any way we want. And today I will show you three different options how to place your stitches to make different type of shamrock. We will start with green color yarn. We will chain four and close our circle. And we will make first round or row, which will be four clusters separated by chain two. If you need instruction how to work this granny square stitch, there is a video on my channel posted last year, and I will leave link below for that video. Once we have our three clusters, we will change yarn color. And with the new color yarn, which I'm using white, you will chain two. We will make one double crochet stitch unfinished and we will change yarn color again. We will make green double crochet stitch unfinished and we will change color to white again. Now we will make one more double crochet stitch because we need cluster of three stitches. We chain two and we can close round number one. So let's check how the shamrock look like. We have three leaves and one stem. Now we will continue as normally. We will go under our chain space and start our round or row number two. I'm using white color yarn and I will go all around to the last portion where the stem is. And I will show you three different options how to make continuation of that stem. So this round is very easy. You just making uh, stitches in between the green stitches. And as you see, the green stitches look more rounded now, looks more like shamrock. So let's continue and I will meet you where is the time to change yarn color. Option number one, after you do two double crochet stitches of your second cluster in the corner, you will change yarn color and you will make third double crochet stitch in a green color yarn. You will not finish that stitch. You will change yarn color to white and that will be your option one of the stem for this shamrock. You will continue with the white color yarn and you can either keep the green color yarn for the next round or you can just cut the yarn and be done with the green color yarn. So let me just finish this so I can show you how this shamrock look like. And this is option number one. So let's do option number two. You will chain two in the corner and you will start your second cluster. I'm making two double crochet again and I'm making third double crochet. So I will change my yarn color on the third double crochet instead of the second as the option one. Now I will place my hook not in the space but in between the green and white stitch. So I'm making additional stitch to this pattern just like that. So that will be my option number two. I will change my yarn color after I finish this stitch that will give me a little stem uh, movement to the one side and that will be a little bit different than option number one. And again, there is so many options you can uh, 
you know, manipulate the stem, which way you want the stem to go. But this is an additional option. And let's move to option number three. So I will chain two and then I will make one double crochet unfinished. And then I will change my yarn color right away. But I will not use this green color yarn. I want only one stitch on the bottom of my stitch to be green. So I'm making additional double crochet, but I'm finishing again with the green color yarn. I'm creating the angle of my stem. And once I'm done, I will make my third stitch as a green stitch. And then I will change my color yarn now to white and continue work. So this is option number three. All of them are very similar, but the outcome is a little bit different. So choose the one you like the best and let's continue. What you can do in the next round, you can either change yarn color, you can use white color in the four rounds. Choose the one that will be the best for you. With this exercise, I actually will use a little bit uh, more challenging part of this uh, shamrock, which I will be using different color yarn. I selected orange, but I will not use this for the full round or row. I will just make decorative stitches in the corners. So I connect my yarn as we normally do. And we will start with the new color yarn and I will make only one cluster with orange color yarn in the corner of my granny square. You can use two colors around, one color around in the last stitch as we did in the different patterns. And this one, what you want to do, you want to make sure that your working yarn, the white one, it's on top of the orange one. So every time you're changing color, like right now I will change again, I will finish my new stitch with the new color yarn, making sure that my working yarn is on top of the non-working yarn. And of course, you do not need to use these color yarns. You can select pink, orange, or any blue, any color you want because we are creating art and art can be anything you wish. And I want to say thank you for crocheting with me today and thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate that. Any thumbs up, any watched video, it's an indication of your support to my channel and I'm very grateful for that. I just hope you learned something new today and please let me know if you did or if you have any challenges to making this project. I am here to help you and I will be happy to answer all your questions you have about this project or any other projects from my channel. As you see, even I'm forgetting sometimes to change yarn color and that's okay. You can always go back and remove that last stitch, change yarn color, and making sure that all the stitches are looking perfect. So I'm at the point where I need to finish my last cluster. And sometimes when you're making uh, maybe different projects, you want your stem to be a little bit longer. So you can use right now at this point, you can use additional option one, two, or three to prolong your stem. I will not do that with this project. I just continue with my um, white working yarn and I'm finishing my cluster with orange one. So this is three rows. And again, this is your project. This is your creation. What you can do now you can either keep the orange color yarn for the next round 
or as I will do, I will keep my white color yarn for my next round. So let me show you how to uh, carry that yarn without visibility. Last slip stitch and we are done with round row number three. If you're using orange uh, color yarn, you do not need to worry about this. Just cut your white color yarn. Normally, I will change my yarn color like this. But as you see, it will be visible on my right side of the project. With this exercise, I will do this a little bit differently. When I want to change my yarn color, I want to be sure that my old colored yarn was to the right of my side. That way, when I pull that yarn to hide the end, I will be able to move the white color yarn to the side and will be not visible on my right side, just like that. So let me take time and let me hide all the ends and clean up this uh, kind of mess in the back. We have so many tails. And also, if you need instruction how to hide ends, there is so many videos on my channel, so watch some of them, especially with granny square stitch. Uh, I'm showing how to hide the ends so the color is not visible on the right or wrong side. Okay, everything is clean up. Let's finish our last row or round. This is simple because I will be using only white color yarn. But I want to point something here. Normally, you will go between stitches, between clusters. And I do have this orange color yarn. I want to pick that yarn up. That will make less visible on the right side. And you will do this on every side of your square on the right of the middle cluster you do not need to do on this side because we have white color yarn and we will leave that yarn color yarn as it is this is very similar to the design we just learned number five of our 2024 designs for our 2024 blanket so if you need more detailed instruction please watch that video and will help you to be sure that you hide, that you pull those loose yarns up in the next round. Was this difficult, a challenging project for you or not? Um, did you have fun working it? Did you make coasters? Did you make blankets? What did you make? I would love to hear that. Or what color did you use? I would love to see different color shamrocks. They can be any color we want. Okay, so I'm finishing this round and I believe you will be familiar to finish on your own. So to not make this video too long, I will just end soon and I will show you the final product I made. I made it four different uh, coasters for the St. Patrick Day, and this is how they look. Which one is your favorite? Would you like four clover leaf as a simple design, or would you rather have three clover leaf with the stem? There is so many possibilities you can make this, so play with this, create your own, and have fun. The most important thing have fun whatever you do and once again thank you so much for supporting my channel have a wonderful day and happy saint patrick day i hope i see you in my next project